Hello, everyone. Welcome to Parable 2021 20, in Excel. It's the New York State edition. That's right. New York's a big old state, and they have a lot of tax laws. I did a video a few months ago about New York, but they've changed everything because it's 2021. That's right. We've got the new methods for 2021. We're going to talk about them today. First thing you need to do is you need to get a form IT2104. It doesn't say NYW4 on it. It says a completely different name, but that's what it is. It's the New York State and New York City and Yonkers version of the W4, really where you're going to get information from your employee about where they're a resident of and how many allowances they're going to claim. I'm not going to go into New York City state tax rates and the New York City part of this, but I am building that into the file. So if you have someone in New York City, let me know. Um, but as for, we're just going to talk about New York State here. So for New York State, those allowances that um, that employee put there, you can put them right here. We put those IT204 allowances. We're not going to worry about New York City. We're not going to worry about the local part, although that is a, is a big part. I'll probably save it for another video, really. But no New York City, no local. Let's just assume just New York State somewhere outside of New York City. So when you figure out what your allowances are and you choose New York for your your employee, couple things are going to pop up in red in New York because New York's got a few extra things they like to tack on here. There's paid family leave and there's state disability. And you need to choose whether or not you're having your employee contribute to the paid family leave, contribute to state disability, or not contribute at all, or contribute to both. Let's do both for everybody. And also, are they single or married? Or are they married and want to be withheld at a single rate, which is basically single. Also, you can just choose single for that. You don't have to make that big, long word. You can just say single. So when you fill all these things in, they're going to go from red to another color, and they're, and they're going to be completed. And then you can look and say, how, well, how do we actually calculate this tax? And also, what did they do in 2021 that's different? Because I, I kind of want to talk about that, too. It's kind of interesting. So they, they made slight, slight changes to the tax code in 2021. And it's weird because... A lot of times states will, let me show you what they did. They, a lot of times states will um, change rates and, and up rates for cost of living adjustments every year and kind of raise the threshold for rates. New York didn't do that. They actually like moved taxable rates away from one um, income level and into another one and then left the bottom and the top the same. I'll show you what I mean. It's really weird. So what they did here, here we go, the annual tax rate schedule. The difference from last year, and the only reason I know this is because I hand type in the rates every year and make sure that I check them over. But what they did was they messed around with these rates right in here. This 5.97 for people making less than 80,000, this became, this, this used to be 6.183, and this was 6.83, and this was 7.41. And then they loaded it all into one of these rates, the one like under 150000 So they just moved around money. They made you save a little bit if you're under 100000 But if you're making between 150 and 100000 or 200 and 100000 they loaded it all back in there so you have no savings. It's the weirdest thing. It's like a moving around of tax rates that doesn't actually do anything. Because the end rates are the same for, for the wealthiest people. It's very, very weird. So in order to, to change that in here, all you do is you annualize the wages for, um, for the New York State. And also, they have a bunch of different allowances. New York's really complicated, actually. They have a bunch of different allowances, which are right here. So they have annualized exemptions that, that um, you have to figure out what their, their status is, single or married, and how many they answered on that IT2104 form, you know, this thing how many allowances they had, that, that has to be multiplied into the formula. So you have to set up another grid for all the allowances for New York, and you have to remove them from the annualized taxable wages once you figure out what their status is and how many exemptions they have. Once you've done that, you get a New York annualized taxable wage base, and then you put that huge formula in here, which is what I was just showing you, all those rates and all those things, and if the wages is this, do that. And we won't go through that because nobody wants to watch that. But I have it all in here, and then you figure out if they're single or married, and you get the withholding. So that's how the regular state withholding. But what about paid family leave? And because if you look on the pay stub, you end up with a couple things here. There's a state disability insurance, and there's a paid family medical leave. The state disability is fixed every paycheck at a certain amount. So when it's a weekly payer, it's only 60 cents. Now in this file, we can change different pay frequencies and stuff. And you'll see that, for example, down here, when I change this whole pay thing to a bi-weekly version, the SDI, and make it 26 pay periods, 
the SDI, the New York SDI number changes like it should. It really, it really is related to the number of pay periods, actually, is what, it, is what it's doing. So um, that, that will properly change uh, as, you, as the file is set up for you specifically. But that's, that's the one weird area where the, the SDI amount is fixed, that state disability is fixed for New York. So that's how you do that part. Well, what about the paid family leave? Paid family leave got up this year. And, you know, I believe these things are somewhat optional depending on what type of business and where you are. But because I keep seeing options of you can choose to withhold SDI and paid family leave or you can choose not to uh, for certain employees. And I don't really know all the restrictions behind that. You would need to talk to an attorney, a tax attorney or something about what, what really, how you can get away with not putting paid family leave in SDI on certain employees. I don't know the answer to that. I just build in the options to pull it out if you have to. Now, what you have to do here is it's, it's 0.5 point, it's zero, it's 0 0.00511, so 0.511%, but it gets maxed out at $380. So the information about paid family leave is here. Um, you're going to want to, where is it? Yeah, where, where is it? Where'd it go? Um, it's right there. It's the reason that, there you go. It's 0.511% and it maxes out at $385 a year. I've got most of that programmed in here to work properly and pull that amount out. Um, if they are in New York, it's right there. Um, on the very last pay period of the year where you might cross over to 385 bucks, it might be a little bit off. I'll fix that. But other than that, it's working fine. So, all right, so that's New York. There's a lot to, a lot to handle with New York. There's state disability. There's paid family leave. There's choosing whether or not they have those. Because if you choose paid family leave only, then all of a sudden the pay sub's not going to take out SDI. See? Zero now. So it matters what you choose. So that was New York in under seven minutes. We're over seven minutes. Under eight minutes, that was New York. Uh, this payroll file is getting plugged away. This was state. This was the eighth state I had to go left. So now we are down to seven states. That's right. 2021 is complete, right? I'm going to put that complete here. Let's see here. Yep, 2021 is complete. I need to check the uh, unemployment wage base for New York. That was that state. So now Oklahoma, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Utah, West Virginia, Wisconsin. Seven to go. We're going to get there. Good luck, everybody. Payroll should be easy. Make it so.